Welcome to the Guitar Gavel Lick of the Week, where special guest musicians walk you through a short lick to add to your bag of tricks. If you have questions about the lick, drop them in the comments section. And if you like what you see, please leave a five-star review and share the Lick of the Week with your friends. Hi, it's, uh, it's me again. It's time for another um, Lick of the Week uh, from David's Guitar Gavel. Uh, it's me again. Um, so this week we're going to do a, <clears throat> a bit of an arpeggiated melodic blues thing. Um, I use a lot of these arpeggiated runs and licks quite a lot in in things that I do. Um, we'll not look at the theory behind this because it's just a case of play what you play what you feel. Um, so I'm just going to play the lick and then I'll. Um, then we'll break it down. Okay. Right, that's the lick. Uh, so what's going on here, we're doing basically arpeggiating a minor chord um, and then we're sticking an extra a few notes in there and then we're, we're putting in, instead of playing notes, we're putting in some triad chords. So um, this is in D and literally you can do this anywhere um, on the neck. You can do these arpeggios in various dif different forms all over the place. And there's an exercise I do where um, I'll start in, say, D, and then I'll do the arpeggiated um, chord, and whichever note I land on as the end note, I'll start the next arpeggio straight away in that note. And you'll find that you'll go all across every 12 notes. Um, so your, uh, your notes and your shots and your flats. So it takes a while, um, but it's something that you can do. So we're starting, what we're doing, we're giving ourselves a bit of a drone. So I'm just doing a D with an A. So we're just giving ourselves a drone to take your fingers off and just let that drone so you get that sound in your ear. And we're starting on the D on your fifth fret. And down to your D string, three, seven, drop down to your G string, seven, ten, and then you're going to just arpeggiate uh, those notes of the D minor chord, so on your B and your E string it's ten, ten, so... minor chord with an extra F in there. Uh, that's all you're playing but you're going across the fretboard and it's you could do this you could do like legato with this if you had a pick um, but you get a different tone and a feel and it's this light touch and then we're going on the 12th fret sliding up to the 13th and then back down so straight back down what you've just played before then we're going to drop down to the ninth fret on your G string so and then your note what you're aiming for here is that note your G on your 12th we're going to play a chord which is so on your A string it's your 10th fret D string at your 11th fret and your G string at your 12th fret. So we'll do that again. Now this is where you've got your tension. You're going to keep that tension, let that ring, and then you're going to slide up two frets on your G string. 
and hold that and then we're going to keep the tension going and then we're going to do basically a D chord but a, a, a string up so it's a D chord instead of your D down here doing a D chord shape so on your uh, B string it's on your 6th fret so you're doing a D chord and sliding down one your notes what you're playing there is so if we just do the notes and then we're going to resolve that because we've still got the tension there we're going to resolve that and do a D but we're going to play the D up here so if we do that again up to the up to here there's your blues and then you just and you take you let you you let this ring when you've got down there so take your fingers up gently so we'll get the this is where you need the A string still drawn in and then you're doing an open D take your fingers off again let that drone and you're going to do that uh, lick again but slightly different so and end on that so if we do that all the way through slowly get it. That's it. Cheers.